nachos have arrived. Don't start eating them. We haven't done. No. Oh. <laughs> ah, that is what you get. It's uh, 11 o'clock. I'm gonna try and cook breakfast slash lunch. We don't cook very often. I especially don't cook very often, so should be interesting. Last time I made guacamole, <laughs> there was like quarter-sized chunks of onion in the guacamole, so. It's good. But I'm just making eggs and bacon and chorizo and toast and what else? Pancakes. And pancakes, coffee. coffee lattes. Lattes. So hopefully I don't mess any of that up. Me cooking breakfast turned into me videoing Hillary cooking breakfast. I'm not sure how that happened. Well, I think I did a pretty good job on breakfast. Wouldn't you say that? Huh? Yeah, you did great. <laughs> and supporting role. Best cook in a supporting role goes to. Hey! <laughs> By far, the best breakfast in Puerto Vallarta is at Hillary's Kitchen. It's a new place, great atmosphere. Terrible service. Uh, ter terrible service. The chef can be a little mean sometimes, but the food is good. We are about to go eat everyone's favorite Tex-Mex dish. Mex-Tex. Mex-Tex dish. Nacho daddies. The dish? Oh, nachos. Oh. Sorry, take two. We're about to go eat everyone's favorite <laughs> Mex-Tex dish. <laughs> nachos. We're gonna get some chicken nachos and some chicken fried chicken at Nacho Daddy's because it is Let's Be Fit Day. We are almost to Nacho Daddy's. We are excited so and hungry. Maybe gone up in their prices a little bit, but we may just recall a bad memory. So we're just gonna split some nachos for 200 pesos. I think they're supposed to be pretty big though. Yeah, right? I think it's a huge thing. And then we ordered chili con queso on the side, which is the only chili con queso I can find in this town. So if you guys know of any other chili con queso in all of PV, please let me know. Nachos have arrived. Don't start eating them. We haven't done that. No. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, that is what you get. It's too hot. That is what you get. <laughs> Should have waited. Should have waited. <laughs> the nachos here are really good. It's huge. Huge. Yeah, we shared the nachos and I feel pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's good if you're like living here yeah. and craving it's some Mex Tex Tex Mex stuff. Yeah, it's a good a, place to watch a Cowboys game. It is a great place to watch the losing Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> you're into that. <laughs> okay. Bye. Well, we passed Rambo on the way here. We haven't seen him in a while, but it sounds like he's no longer staying at. Margarita Grill. He's looking across the street. So, last time he mentioned how he likes to eat milk and bananas. So, we're gonna stop by Oxo and maybe get some water, milk, bananas, and I don't know, maybe some peanut butter bars and protein bars or something and run back by him on our way home. So, it sounds like he's staying somewhere else for now. First time we met him, he did not want us to get him anything. And today I asked if there was anything we could get, and uh, I feel like he hesitated and then said like he just needed something to eat so he said like whatever obviously he's fine with whatever so I was gonna get him something from Nacho Daddy's but we ate it all so <laughs> we're gonna uh, go get him something else yeah so we're gonna go get him something else the fact is we don't really know Rambo so I think you know, anytime even with donating to charity or helping anybody on the street I think you just want to be careful to where you don't want to you know feed uh, any type of dependency so I think we just want to try and I mean, we, want, we want to do our best to help, but I feel like we want to help in the best way that we can. Yeah. Um, We're just struggling yeah, with like, how to know. What is, hard to how know much is too how much the best when... way, what the best thing for Rambo is. Yeah. Uh, so, well, but for today, it's bananas. milk and bananas. Alright, well, 
we struck out OXO. The bananas looked pretty bad. We didn't see anything else there that was uh, looked substantive. It's just a bunch of junk food. So uh, we're gonna go find somewhere else to get him something. grocery store close to where we used to live. They have pretty good uh, selection of stuff, so hopefully we can find something for uh, Senor Rambo. Right, what did we get? We got waffles, bananas, a thing of trail mix, a thing of milk, and a water. Sounds like a good Thursday dinner. Alright, so we delivered the food to Rambo. He definitely seemed a little low in spirits today compared to last time. But hopefully, hopefully the food holds them over and again, I guess I just hope we're doing the right thing and we definitely can't give them food every time. We don't have, we have a little extra money here and there, not that much though. Hope that'll at least get them through the next few days. Now I think we're just going to go walk off our nachos and uh, go, go to the pool, go watch a movie, be lazy. We've had enough adventures for one day. Everything was good in paradise until, until we walked in our uh, condo and uh, noticed there's a lot of sand on my shoes that seemed to be sticking to my shoes a little more than normal. And the sand started to smell really bad. I think I stepped in dog poop. It went both feet. Both. How do you manage to do that? It was caked, it was caked on it there. It was caked on both shoes. Was, That's talent. Yeah. We've got to find a better way to end this video. So today we had oh. a good day. Oh. Tomorrow is. Here, you. We'll slit switch. Friday. We're not sure what we're going to do this weekend. It feels weird. Our last few weeks yeah. have been really busy and exciting and lots of new adventures. Mm -hmm. And it feels weird because the opportunities are endless. I was about to say, I feel like this is when you should really tune in this weekend because... Uh, Whenever we don't have plans and we seek adventure, it's uh, always trouble. I feel like that's when it's... We do a lot better, honestly, when we don't have plans rather than we have excursions planned. And while all those are definitely a lot of fun and we're grateful to be able to do those, I think... I feel like we have the most fun, like, just stepping outside, like, seeing what's going on. There's always something here in PV. It's one of the best things, and we love just... I mean, just walking around is always yeah. an adventure. I mean, going to Mega was an adventure the other day. Yeah, it doesn't uh, take much. We uh, appreciate all the comments on our, on the videos, and we try to try to reply to every single one. So if you regularly watch these videos and you don't you don't comment, which when I watch videos, honestly, I usually don't comment, but please do comment. Just let us know where you're from. Yeah, or reach out. Just say hi because we do try and uh, reply to every comment, and for us. I think that's uh, this week has really shown that one of the funnest things about creating these videos is just interacting with you guys. And uh, yeah. we truly mean that. And whether that's interacting here in PV or via email or Twitter or uh, in the comments section, we definitely uh, enjoy talking to you guys. Yeah, it's fun. I feel like it's one of the most fun parts of making the videos is interacting and giving you guys a glimpse into our uh, yeah, and getting your feedback. What strange lives? Subscribe. Yeah. Click the bell. <laughs> <laughs> For notifications. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Subscribe.